Representatives from the European Union, eight European nations and five Latin American countries met in Uruguay to discuss a solution to Venezuela's growing economic and political crisis. On the table, a four-point proposal for dialogue and negotiations. As hosts, Uruguay hoped that this meeting could find a consensus and perhaps an alternative to the Lima Group's recent demand that Nicolas Maduro step down as Venezuelan president. What resulted from this meeting was a call to establish necessary guarantees for elections and to deliver urgent humanitarian aid. And European and Latin American nations agreed that foreign actors must not be involved in the process. I stress, has to be and we want to be Venezuelan uh, process, uh, completely owned uh, by the citizens of Venezuela. An estimated three million Venezuelans have fled their country since 2015. Many have come here. Maria Eugenia Contreras has lived in Montevideo with her husband and two young children for several years. She says Venezuelans are wary of Maduro using negotiations to buy time, something she says Venezuelans no longer have. Maduro won't leave by his own. He needs a process to decide where he goes, how he goes, and with what guarantees. But he has to leave. The people need him to leave because people are dying. It is a complex process. We must have good intentions, and what we need to do is promote peace. That is why we insist. We are for a peaceful solution and we are against any foreign intervention in Venezuela. Venezuelans have to resolve the internal affairs of Venezuelans. As the political and economic situation becomes increasingly dire in Venezuela, the choice between foreign intervention or further dialogue should be clear cut, says University Professor Temer Porras. He was Nicolas Maduro's chief of staff until 2013. If the opposition wants Maduro to leave, they have two choices. One is negotiating elections and the other one is forcing him out of power. The problem with the second option is that, again, the outcome of that, uh, of that avenue can be potentially a civil war or a foreign intervention. The dispute over allowing humanitarian aid into the country, ravaged by years of turmoil, highlights the urgency with which a solution to the crisis in Venezuela is needed. Joel Richards, CGTN, Montevideo.